failing is necessary and it's important and we are afraid of it it's crazy how like afraid we are of failing and i'm noticing it while i'm doing these youtube videos i want to do one video per day and it's crazy like i know that if i do one video a day i will progress super fast but sometimes when i wake up in the morning i have no idea what i'm gonna talk about most of the time actually and I'm also afraid that it's going to be bad. Uh, and I know it's not going to be super good, that there are not going to be a lot of views, not a lot of comments. Uh, <laughs> and now it's all right because I'm less scared to do the videos. And I'm also less scared what people will think of it because when I just started out, there was my family watching my videos, my friends. Now I, I think they don't care at all anymore. They just don't watch them. There are too many videos. And man, I was so afraid. And I'm, I still am a little bit when I do a video, but now it's like manageable. And it's just that if you're afraid to fail and you avoid failing, you have to know that this is such... Uh, you're just like building a wall between you and success because you're not gonna progress fast if you're not ready to fail. If you're not ready to do things that are really bad and really low quality and that hurt. I mean, it hurts because you, you're doing something that is bad and you know it, but there's no other way you have to go through. I mean, that that's basically what's happening for me when I'm making these videos. I know they're not awesome, and I would love to be a very good speaker and to do very good quality videos, but I don't have the camera, I don't have the skills, I don't have the confidence. There's so, so many things that I don't have. But one thing I know is that if I want to be successful, I have to go through this every day. This is just the truth for me. For other persons, it might be once a week or I don't know. And we are all different, so some people might do YouTube videos that are quite good at the beginning already. But for me, it's not the case. And I know a lot of people who would start a YouTube channel and who would suck at it like me. And I'm sure they would love it nonetheless. I mean, to like do this. So what, I'm, what I want to say is you have to like see how failure is actually such a, an important step towards where you want to be. If you don't fail, you're not going to grow and you're not, you're just not going to take the risks that are necessary in order to, uh, to become successful at what you want to do. And for me, actually, now the pain of failure is lower than the pain of not doing. When I don't do something and I know it's because I'm scared, I feel so bad. I feel like a fucking coward. And I also know that I'm actually um, getting, uh, I, I'm not getting closer to my dream life. And this makes me sick. It really makes me sick that there's just like one little feeling that it hurts, you know, something that hurts inside. That's the only thing that keeps me acting towards my goal. This just sickens me so much now that uh, I, I cannot not do it. And there's also times where I know that I'm scared and I don't do the thing, but it's all right. Like I don't have to fail all the time and to like be scared all the time because it's also very draining. So what I'm doing is I'm really honest with myself. Sometimes I know, okay, so there's this thing that I want to do. And then there's the fear on the other side. And I just like try to feel uh, which, I don't know how I do that. I try to weigh it a little bit. If the thing is really important and if the fear is so-so, then I do it. If the thing is not super important and the fear is huge, then I probably won't do it. If the thing is really not that important. 
But you see, you can like use it, use that kind of uh, method in order to know if you have to act or not. For something that's important for me, doing a video on YouTube every day, there's no way I'm skipping that. Uh, no matter how big the fear is, because it's just like a cornerstone of what I want to do in my life. So it's not possible. Then there are other things that you can skip because you know your fear is still too big. You're going to work on it. You're going to think about it. Do, I don't know, meditate on it. And then you're going to act and it's all right. But you have to be honest with, you, with yourself. I know, for example, that with a lot of things, I'm already pushing myself really hard. So with other stuff, where I'm scared and when I don't do it, it's all right. It doesn't sicken me as much as when I don't do something that's super important. So yeah, that's basically, that's why failure is important is it brings you closer to your goal. It makes you grow. It makes you feel better as a human being. It enables you also to improve your resistance to fear to judgment, criticism, to um, a lot of things like to low expectations, to like it enables you to do things even if nothing what you want to be there is not there yet. So there is no one applauding you, no one saying you're good, uh, you're not good at the thing and that's it, you have to do it. So yeah, it's like I don't know how much I can uh, like the, the, I really want to emphasize this because I'm, I'm quite lucky. I had social anxiety, had to work like super hard to do normal things in my life, just to be able to have friends I liked, to uh, go out and be confident, and to eat with people and not be not be shitting myself. I had to work really hard, so I know how it is, and that's why I'm pretty lucky because there are some people. A lot of people don't know the reward of being, of facing the fear and failing. And that's what tricks them. When you don't know that, you have like to have faith that it's really gonna help. And if you don't have that, then you're kind of like, uh, you're kind of uh, fucked. Yeah, because you're afraid to move. But you have to move and then see like what the reward will be. On, not just once, but maybe 30 times in a row or something like that. And then you're going to see results. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening.